Hello, welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me, and thank you. Today is Friday, October 6, and today we celebrate the life and ministry of William Tyndale and Miles Coverdale, who were translators of the, uh, the Bible. Here is the commentary from the book Holy Women, Holy Men, celebrating the saints. William Tyndale was born about 1495, near the Welch border, and he received his bachelor's and master's degrees from Oxford, and he also studied at Cambridge. He was ordained about 1521, and he spent his early ministry as a domestic chaplain and tutor in Gloucestershire and London. Tyndale was a man with a single passion, to translate the Holy Scriptures into English. Lacking official sanction, he went to Germany in 1524. Strongly opposed to his work, King Henry VIII, Cardinal Wolsey, and others sought to destroy his work and to put him to death. He was betrayed by a friend and was murdered and strangled and burned at the stake on October 6, 1536, in Brussels. By the time of Tyndale's death, he had completed his translation of the New Testament and major parts of the Old Testament, particularly the Pentateuch. And it is estimated that about 80% of Tyndale's work found its way into later translations, most notably the King James Version of 1611. Miles Coverdale was born in Yorkshire around 1488. He studied at Cambridge and was ordained in 1514, and soon thereafter joined the Augustinian Friars. Passionate about scriptural translation, he left the monastery in 1526 and eventually went to the continent, where the work of translation enjoyed strong support. He completed the first translation into English of the whole Bible in 1535, which was issued as the Great Bible in 1539. Archbishop Cranmer adopted Coverdale's translation of the Psalter for the Book of Common Prayer. Between times of unrest and relative calm, Coverdale shuttled between England and the continent. He served as a Lutheran pastor while in exile from 1543 to 1547. He became Bishop of Exeter in 1551, but was deprived of that office at the ascension of Queen Mary due to his Protestant convictions. He again escaped to the continent where he lived until the accession to the throne of Elizabeth in 1559. He is remembered as an outstanding preacher, an uncommonly gifted linguist and a translator, and a leader of the Puritan wing of the Church of England. Let us pray. Almighty God, you planted in the heart of your servants, William Tyndale and Miles Coverdale, a consuming passion to bring the scriptures to people in their native tongue. And you endowed them with the gift of powerful and graceful expression and with strength to persevere against all obstacles. Reveal to us your saving word as we read and study the scriptures and hear them calling us to repentance and life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.